Hello baseball fans, hope everybody's doing awesome out there, staying safe. Having it like and subscribe, please do so. Brand new to YouTubers, so really appreciate your support. And the best way you can do that is by hitting like and subscribe. And hey, we're going to have prizes coming down the line for subscribers, so you're going to get in on that as well. So, the MLB offseason is upon us. It's very exciting. And I'm going to go out and make another big prediction. I'm going to swing for the fences, make this one early. And it involves the Toronto Blue Jays and nobody else but Noah Syndergaard. That's right. Thor himself is coming back to Toronto. And I say coming back because if you remember, we traded away Noah Syndergaard to get R.A. Dickey and our last big postseason run. We won't get into that today, but we'll talk about the future and how Thor fits into that. And if you look at Noah Syndergaard, why are the Jays going to be in on him? Well, they were deep on him last offseason, him and Verlander. Ultimately, Verlander pivoted, went to Houston, and Noah Syndergaard signed with the Angels, just came down to a little bit of extra money. Jays didn't budge. He went elsewhere. But his value has come down a little bit and is a little bit more determined this year. And that's why I think the Jays are going to be all in on him. They've done their homework. And this guy would be a fantastic uh, addition to the back end of the Jays' rotation. Why? Let's look at his numbers. He did have an ERA, 3.94, just under 4 anyways. Not great, but certainly good, considering his fastball was down almost 4 uh, miles an hour. Noah Syndergaard had to make a lot of adjustments. He did it on the fly, and he did it well. He went 10-10. and 10. His whip, yeah, a little high, 1.25. But these are the numbers that you can expect with a back of a rotation a guy. In fact, with these types of numbers, some teams might even pencil him at number three. With the Jays, he would be number four or number five. And that's why he'd be a great addition. On top of that, he has postseason experience. Something that the Jays could certainly covet next time around if they go a little bit deeper into that postseason run. And ultimately, what is it going to cost the Blue Jays to knock, uh, lock down Noah Syndergaard to get Thor to return home? It's going to be a three-year deal. That's right. They're going to have to go three years, take that gamble. Maybe the third year is a bust like Ryu, but it's going to be three years, somewhere around 48 to 55 million bucks. I'm actually going to say three years, 52 million. Jays, Noah Syndergaard, they get this deal done. And boy, oh boy, do the Jays rotation start to look really good. We'll have Manoa, we'll have Gosman, we'll have Barrios, who's going to hopefully bounce back, and then we add Noah Syndergaard, hey, and maybe even Ross Stripling, who knows. But that's a solid four right there, and that's something that the Jays fan base should get excited about. Let me know if you think I'm wrong. Do you think Thor's going to go elsewhere? Do you think Syndergaard's going to go back? Hey, Phillies, Mets, Angels? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Always appreciate them. Hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And more importantly, I hope everybody stays safe and we'll ramble on. Take care, guys.